Hello, this is Cho of the Shiny Colors Discord. Welcome to another episode of the Shiny Review. Today we've got a handful of cards to talk about. We have the new Produce SSR for Kaho, the Support SSR for Kogane, and we also have the Support SSR for Amana, and technically Hiori, though Hiori is going to be a little bit more of a footnote by comparison. Keep in mind that both of these cards are limited. Well, rather, all three of these cards are limited. Kaho and Kogane will not be coming back around once their banner is over and will only be available on paid-only banners. Amana's is a little more of a precarious situation as this is the first real PR support that we've had that wasn't the voted one with Kiriko. And we don't know if this card is going to come back at all. So, if you want a card that features Hinana, Amana, and Mamimi, then certainly something worth checking out. For now, though, let's talk about Kaho. So, Kaho is a pure vocal support, meaning that she's already vying for competition with Kaho 5, which released a couple years back. Her initial appeal is a slow vocal 4.0 that raises the judge's interest by 1.5 times, in other words, a 50% increase for two turns, and also raises your attention by 50% for three turns. The Link Appeal is a vocal 150% buff for five turns. The four-star version of the appeal is a slow vocal 5.0 appeal that raises the judge's interest by 100% for two turns and raises your attention by 50% for three turns and links into the same vocal 150% buff. Remember that slow appeals will always appeal last in the turn order. In other words, no matter how you hit it, whether it's a perfect, a good, or a normal, or a bad, you will go last. The idea is that you want to use the interest after that, but not let your opponents take advantage of the interest that you're putting onto the judges. It's sort of a faster but slower version of Kaho 5, who used interest up and down to neutralize it for the first few turns, then turned into interest up later. It's an easier way for you to reap the benefits than just you and the opponents. For her passives, the first is a vocal 60% up if it is turned to her earlier and has a 35% chance to activate once. Her two-star passive is a vocal 100% up if you have three or more Hokuto members in your skill history and has a 30% chance to activate twice. The four-star passive is a vocal 160% up if you have five or more Hokuto members in your skill history and has a 30% chance to activate twice. Her memory appeal, when maxed out, is an attention 100% buff for three turns that links into a vocal maximum 6.5 appeal that scales based on how high your attention is. Kaho is a really interesting retrain of Kaho 5. She trades the AoE appeal with interest manipulation into a faster interest manipulation card with a slow single target effect. Her passives play exactly into modern Vokura, while her appeal also allows attention Hokura to still thrive, especially when paired with the last permanent Choco that has double attention up buffs, meaning that cards like Gyudon Rinze or the Winter Natsuha have a great place to function in in vocal Hokura now. There's certainly a place where this Kaho can be kind of either your leader or your center depending on the situation. Her memory appeal as a 6.5 is pretty okay, the attention scaling might be a little difficult if you're not fully invested into an attention style team, so that means that cards like My Song's Collection Jury or Twi Kolei Rinze could still realistically be the stronger centers depending on how you invest into the team. As a leader, you're getting access to three pretty solid passives, including two very good passives, and you're not necessarily taking any sort of big compromise of, say, running her as a center but needing her appeal on the last turn, meaning that your rotation gets even more strict in that regard. But if you are using a lot of duets and double duets, then it may not necessarily matter all that much. The idea is to use her appeal last in the rotation, so that way your memory appeal gets a huge boost on whoever you decide to target out. Pairing her with My Song's Collection Jury feels like a very potent combination and could serve to be a great on-stat option for Volkura compared to what they've been doing recently, which is running My Song's Collection Kaho for sort of similar gains. Since that Kaho also is an interest bomb of sorts, Volkura teams and just Volkura in general have been finding ways to use My Song's Collection Kaho as sort of an alternative win condition. This card is meant to sort of play that same role, except now she's on stat, at least for the vocal version of Hokura. And I think that that's pretty neat. I'm going to give this card an A to an A+. 
She is not necessarily the most broken card on Volkrida right now, but she feels like a very strong card in the potential factor. Then, of course, we have Kogane. So, Kogane is a pure visual support, and of course, we gotta talk about the Masteries first, which includes Unit Mastery Mental, which is plus 8 at level 75, otherwise plus 5 at level 70, plus 3 at level 50. Unit Mastery Visual Limit Up, which is plus 5 at level 80, or it is plus 3 at level 75, or plus 2 at level 60. She also has Visual Stay Mastery, which reaches plus 3 at level 70, plus 2 at level 5. And lastly, Visual Mastery Stamina, reaching plus 5 at level 80, plus 3 at level 65. Kogane has an extremely solid amount of Masteries across the board. It definitely demands level 80 for the Stamina and the Uncapped bonuses, and pairs extremely well with the last couple of Visual Supports for Antika, namely the Sakuya and Twaikole Mamimi. If you run all three of those together, you're looking at almost plus 50 uncap if you're producing an Antika card, and potentially more if you decide to go fully into the Antika lineup and everybody has Visual Stay Masteries or Visual Room EX skills and keep congregating together. That is a lot of stat uncap that you could potentially be farming, which means that Visual Antika as a core could be leading to a lot of potential damage in the future. So certainly worth looking out just for that alone. Now, as for the rest of what this card does, her initial appeal is a visual 3.0 that reduces your current mental by 30%. The upgraded version of her appeal at four stars is a visual 4.0 that reduces your current mental by 30%, then grants a visual buff upwards of 80%, depending on how much health was paid. That buff lasts for three turns. So if we take a look at the scaling here, we'll see that in order to get the 80% buff, you need to lose 1,000 or more health. So as long as your maximum health, when reduced by 30% is over 1,000, you will get the 80%. You can do the math to figure out what exactly works well with that, which we'll get into with the passives. Her two-star passive is a visual 150% up if your maximum mental is 4,500 or more, but your current health is below 34%. It has a 40% chance to activate once. And she has a visual 100% passive if you are in the leader position, and has a 20% chance to activate once. Kogane is actually a really sick card in tandem with other Antika supports. Visual Antika is just missing maybe one card that could drastically cut their mental, as these small 30% cuts will take a little too long to activate your 2-star passive currently. Expect this card and other visual Antika to skyrocket in value if a visual Antika produced card comes along that cuts your mental by a lot, and this may be printed in the near future. I think for now this card is an easy A+, and can definitely climb into the S ranks if they get that one extra nudge. This card is really good, especially if you have those other Antika supports mentioned earlier. Now next up on the list is Amana, but the weird part about it is that because of how they formatted the gacha page, you don't get to actually look at the card and see what it does. So, I will do my best to explain the card to you. Her masteries include Visual Mastery Visual, which uses plus 15 at level 75, plus 12 at level 65, plus 9 at level 50. She has Tension Mastery Visual Limit Up, which is plus 4 at level 80, plus 3 at level 70, plus 2 at level 60. Visual Stay Mastery, which is plus 5 at level 80, plus 3 at level 70, or plus 2 at level 5. And finally, Visual Mastery Stamina, which is plus 5 at level 80, plus 3 at level 65, and plus 1 at level 30. Naturally, this card wants to be a 4 star since 3 of her skills max out at level 80, this card is extremely backloaded on visual abilities, so maxing out this card is kind of the expected idea with this card, and is certainly going to be very valuable for just general visual teams. She does have two appeals, like most of the other supports we talk about now. She has a visual 2.5 that doubles your visual buffs, so the visual fortify effect, and grants a visual 20% buff for four turns. The four-star appeal is a visual 3.5 that doubles your current visual buffs, and grants a visual 60% buff for four turns. Her two-star passive is a visual 100% up and memory gauge 5% up that requires either Amana, Hinana, or Mamimi on your team. So you can pick any of the three, and as long as they're on your team, that passive is totally available. It has a 30% chance to activate twice. And lastly, her four-star passive is a visual 150% up that just requires you to be in the visual position, and has a 30% chance to activate twice. This Amano support is honestly really good. 
and this should mean the future PR supports will be at least this good, ideally, for vocal and dance respectively. She has two very easy to use passives that should be fairly easy to make work on their respective teams. Or if you are running the three member teams or just a cannon team, you can easily slot one of those characters in on the side to take full advantage of that two star passive. So if you are somebody that's playing either visual Nocturne, visual Alstromeria or visual Antica, or even the smaller teams that can make use of any of those three, then this is absolutely a card worth taking. If you're not playing visual, then just wait for either the dance or vocal versions of this card. I think Amana earns an easy A plus to S minus. Now, the last card, which we won't really try to highlight too much on, there is a new Grade Fest support for Hiori. You'll be able to pick her up using your Grade Fest coins, and you have plenty of time to get her. She has the useful know-how discovery mastery which means it'll be much easier for you to gather up some of your harder-to-get abilities as you begin building your step idols. So if you're somebody that's been struggling in sort of the mid-tier grades and want a boost, getting a know-how mastery card and bringing that along while you're, say, producing in grad or wing or whatever should help get more abilities more frequently so that you can start merging those into really strong step books. So do consider having a couple coins in the back pocket for that card do what you can. So that will do it for the video today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Next time we'll be talking about whatever banner comes next. Let's look forward to it together, shall we? Till the next one, I've been Cho. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.